Hello. Welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. I am Dr. Ayanshala Ogundele and I will be presenting the new space. The overview of my presentation is as follows. The new space ventures. The new space versus the traditional space. Market drivers of the new space and emergence of the new space. In this 21st century, the commercialization of the space business is rapidly advancing. The creation of new businesses with significant private capital investment, the deployment of new technologies and approaches, and the convergence with the information technology sector form the basis of what is now known as the new space. New companies are pursuing new approaches and business models. Increasing demands for 24-7 global connectivity, enhanced national security, and advanced space exploration are driving commercial innovation in the space industry. Through our investments in space exploration, research and development, and further space spin-offs, space program has helped to create a lot of enduring technologies which have led to the development of camera phones, wireless headsets, scratch resistant lens, CAT scans, portable computing, and host of others. Technological advances by the private commercial sector are modernizing traditional and costly space practices by reusing rockets and building more efficient spacecraft, reducing per launch cost. The global space industry is expected to generate revenue of about $1.1 trillion or more by the year 2040. The exploration of space is becoming global. More nations are now within reach of space than ever before. The new space ventures. New space refers to the emergence of the private space flight industry. New space ventures are becoming more common and the spanning areas such as private launch companies, small satellite constellations, suborbital tourism, as well as other specific efforts that aim to reinvent the traditional space industry supply chain. The picture here shows artist's concept of the tropics mission for the study of hurricanes with a constellation of 12 Kipsat flying information. New space emphasizes the relative modernity of private spaceflight efforts, encompassing international and multinational efforts to privatize spaceflight as a commercial industry. Such corporations fall under the governance of international treaties and national governments. Presently, the new space is gradually developing new commercial fields beyond the traditional commercial space sector. The picture here show the private firm SpaceX, which launched the space shooter mannequin Starman out of Earth's orbit, so as to demonstrate the Falcon FE, the world's most powerful operational rocket. The three key characteristics that are the defining factors for the new space are huh? customer focus, new product development approaches, and new business models. The symbiosis of the space industry and the IT sector as technology provider, source of processes and market potential is an important success factor for the new space. This picture shows new and improved anti-matter spaceship for mass missions. The new space facility, the traditional space. The traditional space. The traditional space is made up of institutional space. And the institutional space encompasses navigation constellations, military space activities, space science, human space exploration, and traditional Earth observation satellites. Also, we have the commercial space given as the Leo, Mio, and Geo launcher, 
MSS and MSS communication satellites, Leo communication satellites, and traditional art observation satellites. How these are well established? Then the new space. New space is bringing in new business models, which have potentiality of being commercialized and generating more income for the operators. So we have the, uh, the some of the technology that have been implemented, which are the positioning and navigation and timing, new launch systems, the information, data and services, components and subsystems for small satellites, ISS servicing, and small sat at observation constellations. We also have services such as IoT, media and internet for all, the small sat systems, space tourism, debris mitigation and remover, satellite servicing, in space manufacturing, space resource mining. These are starting uh, technologies. They are starting uh, products. Also, we have the debris mitigation and remover, satellite servicing, in space manufacturing, space resource mining, energy from, from space, space habitats, humans to mass. So, this one are uh, imagine business models, new business models, and they have the co potential for commercialization. Market drivers of the new space. The market drivers of the new space are increase in space exploration missions, increase in demand for satellites, increase in investment, declining launch cost and advances in technology, rising public sector interest, and high data demand. All these coupled together form as the drivers that are making the new space possible. Increase in space exploration missions. There is increase in human space exploration missions because of the need to address fundamental questions about our place in the universe and the history of a solar system. Through addressing the challenges related to human space exploration, we expand technology, create new industries, and help to foster a peaceful connection with other nations. This picture shows an artist's conception of Explos aircraft probe making its way to the moon. Increase in demand for satellites. The demand for production and launches of satellites is expected to grow dynamically in the nearest decade. The development of new space industry will influence positively on the capitalization growth of the new space companies. This picture shows SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with a Dragon 2 spacecraft lifting off at the Kennedy Space Center. Increasing investment. The effect of massive investment into new space makes the industry to develop faster and the growing amount of available funds allows these new companies to develop technologies that help to reduce the price of reaching the outer space and as a result makes outer space exploration less expensive in contrary to what is obtainable before. This picture shows artist depiction of the art land, proofing grant, and art independent treasures, showing key capabilities that have been developed along the way. So, in achieving this, there's, the new space companies are coming up with new and highly innovative technologies, which can be easily adapted and which can easily enable the mission to be achieved. Declining launch cost and advances in technology. While reusable rockets can help to reduce the cost of launches significantly, the production of satellites has a potential to grow rapidly as space becomes easier and cheaper place to reach and explore. New space technology advancements helps to reduce launch cost and as a result, large number of satellites are being launched into space more than in the traditional uh, 
space system. This picture shows SpaceX reusable rocket. The declining launch cost and advances in technology can potentially make the new space a $10 trillion industry by the year 2030, as predicted by the Morgan Stanley. The colonization of Moon and Mars requires large amount of brand new technologies and manufacturing capabilities. Consequently, the increasing demand for services and products of new space companies will influence positively on the growth of the industry's revenue. This picture shows future mission base and mass base. And this particular base needs a high technology for the actualization. Rising public sector interest. The rising public sector interest makes the new space industry extremely perspective sector for investors. The rapid development of space exploration technologies attracts millions of investors all over the world. The strategic plans of public and private companies to, to explore moon, mass, and other astronomical objects increase the demand for services and products of new space companies. This picture shows future mass base. High data demand. There is increase in demand for data, cloud services, and navigation technologies. And this is one of the most important factors contributing to the development of the new space. The technologies of Internet of Things, autonomous cars, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, cloud services, high speed satellite internet, and advanced navigation systems are considered to be main drivers of the rise of the new space. This picture shows communication, navigation, and quantum technology system. Emergence of the new space. The contributing factors for the emergence of the new space are as follows. Technological innovations, business innovations, new space mining, and international and national frameworks. The technological innovations are from miniaturization of satellites and launchers, acceleration of satellites and launchers development, robotics and automation, advanced factory simulation capabilities and rapid prototyping, technology, product and idea spin in, innovation and adaptability, flexibility and capability of software upgrade, and additive manufacturing. Technological innovations. The rapid development of electronic engineering created a new world of computer technology, remote control, miniaturization, and instant communications. The rocketry techniques first applied in weapon were developed to provide launch vehicles for satellites, lunar and planetary probes, and eventually in 1969 to set the first men on the moon and bring them home safely back to the Earth. This picture shows Apollo 11 Saturn V space vehicle lifting up with astronauts Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Edwin Adrian at about 9.22 a.m. On July 16, 1969, from Kennedy Space Center launch complex. The astonishing achievement of moon landing was stimulated in part by the international ideological rivalry between the Soviet Union and the United States. This period, technology is referred to as the space age technology. Advancement in space technologies is given us the opportunity to put the best of humanity forward into the future. It enables international cooperation, courage, boldness, and entrepreneur. This picture shows Apollo 11 astronaut named Armstrong, both Adrian and Michael Collins. Miniaturization of satellites and launchers. The power of miniaturization is having a huge impact on satellites. It's making it easier 
to put more capabilities into smaller packages. Constellations of small satellites are aligned for both new capabilities as well as existing capabilities at much lower cost. Advanced in nanotechnology, computer microsystems, micropower sources is aiding miniaturization. This picture shows 60 Starlink satellites stacked together before deployment on 24th May of 2019. Miniaturization is one of the greatest driving forces behind the explosion of the new space because it permits stakeholders, stakeholders with great ambitions but small budgets to gain a foothold in the space sector and to supply it with innovations. Launch vehicles for launching small satellites that have unique orbital and launch timing requirements have been offered by the following companies Rocket Labs Electron, Fajin Orbis Launcher 1, and Astra's Rocket 3.0. This picture shows Fajin Orbis Launcher 1. Satellites with less weight. The miniaturization of electronic equipment makes it possible to manufacture satellites weighing less than 20 kg. This revolution is leading to the emergence of a new low-cost space race that breaks with the traditional pattern of satellite operations. This picture shows an artist rendering of SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launching a batch of small satellites. Acceleration of satellites and launcher development. The new space companies are driving the new frontier of satellite technology via right business platform. This action helps them to shorten rocketry and satellite development time so as to be able to achieve first time right quality for successful launches. This picture shows right share of small satellites launch. Acceleration of satellites and launches development, the continuous integration. The right business platform enables the new space companies to integrate different departments and information while providing digital capabilities to accelerate design and manufacturing. This picture shows artist impression of ESO launch of small satellites. By integrating technology into product development, Companies can accelerate the product life cycle from concept to takeoff and gain a critical first market advantage. This is possible through a sheet of powerful digital capabilities that include real-time collaboration, factory simulation, optimized planning, and the factory twin experience. The factory twin experience is an accurate and executable factory model of the physical operations which allows companies to evaluate multiple what-if scenarios with ease and speed. This picture shows SpaceX Falcon 9 dedicated right-share mission to a relatively high-energy gestationary transfer orbit. Robotics and Automation Robotics is the process of designing, creating, and using robots to perform a certain task. Uh, why automation is the process of using physical machines, computer software, and other technologies to perform tasks that are usually done by humans. The new space companies are employing robotics and automation principles to perform their operations, and this has helped in developing the disruptive technologies. This picture shows the destroy robot on the International Space Station. Using robo robotics Human assistant robotics and automation eliminated the risk to the astronauts while still performing the tasks needed to meet the mission objectives. The short tool robotics arm, which is commonly referred to as the arm, was designed for functions that were better performed by a robotic system in space. Feature of robotic space exploration, which the new space companies are uh, looking into our uh, space drones, holograms, and self-replicating robots. This picture shows the Mars Science Laboratory rover. Advanced factual simulations capabilities and rapid prototyping. Advanced factual simulation capabilities allow companies to accelerate the testing and validation process. When they are equipped with multi-scale and multi-physics simulation capability that can rapidly reproduce complex space systems. 
They can explore more options and address quality issues and launch risk earlier. This picture shows global internet mega networks with thousands of satellites, which could beam down tens of terabytes per second, filling gaps left by land-based internet services. Technology products and ideas spin in. Spin in is the transfer of technology developed for uses outside of the space sector to meet needs identified inside the space sector. The technology transfer is a well-owned concept which involves the clustering of parameters critical to save and effective satellite operations. In today's faster-moving research and development environment, there is good potential for knowledge developed to meet an earthly need to then spin in usefully and profitably to the space sector. This picture shows the RSGS spacecraft designed to be able to approach, dock with, and service satellites in geosynchronous orbit. The use of components which are already commercially available in other sectors is cheaper and more efficient than expensive special developments. Spinning in a technology, product, and idea enables the new space operators to gain additional market visibility and penetration in terrestrial applications. The new space companies are also using this approach to get their work done faster. This picture shows satellite constellations. Innovation and adaptation. Innovation and adaptation go hand in hand. Innovating from the basis of an art proven product requires careful attention to how the space environment diverse from the conditions the product confronts on Earth. This picture shows space weather effects on Earth and satellites in the space environment. High radiation, hard vacuum, thermal stresses that can subject objects to variations of hundreds of degrees Celsius from one side facing the sun to the other side in shade. High vibration on launch and highly limited energy budgets are some of the major differences that have to be taken into account by the new space companies. This picture shows Earth's magnetic field protecting the planet from cosmic radiation from solar flares and the Big Bang. Recently, Cisco successfully adapted terrestrial technology to the space environment. By the year 2003, Using a production model router, a lot of innovative human capital, and less than $1,000 of modified hardware, Cisco company launched a demonstration payload designed to show that its gear had what it took to perform in space. This achievement had the respect needed for project managers to rely on it or its derivatives when designing spacecraft architectures to support mission critical functions. This is an example demonstration of innovation and adaptation of technology already adapted and working on Earth to space. This picture shows a radiation-proof Cisco router as was sent into space aboard an Intersat satellite with the goal to set up military communications from space. Internet routing in space, IRIS projects aims to route IP voice, video, and data traffic between satellites in space in much the same way packets are being moved on the ground, reducing delays, saving on capacity, and offering greater network flexibility. Flexibility and capability of software upgrade. The capabilities and adaptability of modern software are being used by the new space companies to develop their products such as launch vehicles and spacecraft. Higher performance computers facilitate artificial intelligent algorithms which permit a greater degree of autonomy and savings in satellite operating costs. This picture shows the internet router in space. The radiation adding fashion of Cisco's commercial internet router was launched into geosynchronous orbit aboard the Intersat 14 satellite in 2009. Software upgrade capability appreciated by systems 
administrators on earth was built by Cisco into their onboard router, Cisco's IRIS, Internet Router in Space, launched on November 2009 to orbit as a hosted payload of Intersat's IH-14 satellite. This essentially meant that software associated with the router could be updated as needed, just as has been the case with ground-based systems, proving a level of flexibility and responsiveness not previously available aboard satellites. This picture shows IRS space router. Additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing, which is also known as 3D printing, is a transformative approach to industrial production that enables the creation of lighter, stronger parts and systems. It permits faster development as a result of rapid prototyping and higher flexibility in series production, helps to, face, to save on weight, cost, and reduce supplier risk. This picture shows SS Advanced Research in Telecommunications System. The new space companies are embracing additive manufacturing for the following reasons. Prototyping, fabrication of assembly-free object, and midstream changes. By prototyping, this has led to the reduction of lead times. Also, through fabrication of assembly-free object, parts once created from multiple assembly pieces are now fabricated as a single assembly-free object. And for the midstream changes, changes can be made midstream with virtually no interruption in the process. This picture shows the 3D printing technique building plan for moon and mass bases. Business innovations. The various business innovations are challenge the status quo, visionary and ambitious leaders, entrepreneurial initiative, highly skilled employees and innovative human resources methods, cost-oriented strategy, scalable model, private investment in space, and right owner of production of critical and disruptive technologies. Business innovations through business platform. In the race to successfully launch satellites into orbit, new space companies are speeding up innovations in satellite and launch vehicle technologies using business platform that enables them to accelerate the design and manufacturing through first time right outcomes. Challenge the status quo. Rocketry and satellite manufacturing. Because rocketry and satellite manufacturing involves customized production, agility becomes a crucial competitive edge. The business platform not only enables companies to optimize production plans, but also allows them to respond quickly to changes, unlike in the traditional project management settings. They can rely on a factual twin of their physical operations to rapidly evaluate the impact of different decisions and to increase manufacturing speed without sacrificing quality. This picture shows the GSLV MK3 rocket, which carries GSAT-19, which is made up of a 3D printed functional metal satellite component into space. There was reduction in complex component from multiple parts to a single body, which results in lower costs and faster production. Visionary and ambitious leaders, the new space championing. The new space is being championed by the visionary and ambitious leaders, such as Elon, Elon Musk of SpaceX, Jeff Bezos of Blue Origin, Richard Branson of Virgin Galactic, Cam Gadovarian of Ancient Space, and a host of others. They rule with fission, share it with the organization, and galvanize teams to push it forward in an inspirational rather than authoritarian style. This picture shows Elon Musk of SpaceX. Through visionary leaders. Through visionary leaders give employees the freedom to come up with the best route for bringing their vision for the company to life. 
How with a deep understanding that it takes great discipline and commitment to see the affection to fruition. This picture shows Jeff Bezos of Blue Origin. Hallmarks of a visionary leader. Despite their product differences, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, Cam Gaverian, and many more founders share an entrepreneurial spirit founded in good, solid leadership principles and fueled by the hallmarks of a visionary leader. Big picture, forward thinker, innovator, inventor, someone out to empower the world with a compelling vision, hold their own, and in ways never seen before. This picture shows Richard Branson, the founder of Fargent Galactic. Entrepreneurial Initiative The new space companies are extremely innovative, and this is due in part to the entrepreneurial initiative of their founders. The, the Space Foundation established a nationwide space commerce entrepreneurship program to promote the expansion of business into space-based technology markets. Total global space revenues. Since 2005, as traditional space companies have continued development and many new commercial space initiatives have gained momentum, total global space revenues have more than doubled, growing to about 162%. This is given by Space Foundation. This picture shows Cam Gavarian of Asian Space. Highly skilled employees and innovative human resources methods. One of the Agile values of Agile Manifesto states that we value individual and interactions over processes and tools. And one of the principles behind the Agile Manifesto states that Build projects around motivated individuals. Give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. All these principles are being used by the new space company founders so that they can get results on time. New space adaptation of agile value. The new space companies make use of highly skilled employees and innovative human resources methods due to their focus on people over tools and processes and the need to get results very fast. Success is not guaranteed if the companies have good processes but low skill employees. Strong and talented people will be able to find a way to accomplish any tasks even when processes are weak. So the new space companies, they are making use of skilled employees and good human resources methods and this has really helping them to achieve results. Cost-oriented strategy. Approach to improve performance. Cost-oriented strategy is an approach employed by the new space companies to improve performance by reducing the cost per unit. The cost advantage is used to improve profit margins or increase market share by cutting prices. The new space market orientation is an approach to business that prioritizes identifying the needs and desires of consumers and creating products and services that satisfy them. Market orientation. The new space companies using market orientation consider the opinions and needs of their target market as a critical component of their research and development for new products. SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic and host of others use market orientation principles to improve or expand their products or services. Scalable model. The challenge for new space companies is to develop the facility of their platforms while manufacturing to order at scale. In the longer term, the challenge will be to manage mega constellations and ensure their sustainability tailor-made products. Due to low cost of components and the ability to get them incredibly smaller, the new space companies get a product that is tailor-made for the cost-sensitive emerging new space industry. Falling st satellite and launch prices. Software as a service was first made possible by massive server networks 
and later extended by cloud infrastructure. Falling satellite and launch prices, the proliferation of grand stations, and Leolab's case, satellite tracking radars clear the way for space as a service. An important benefit of the service model for space companies is scale. Private investment in space. Private investment in space companies hit about $4.5 billion in the second quarter of 2021, a record for the sector. This is stated by Space Capital. This was the largest quarter on record for space infrastructure investment. The quarterly Space Capital report defines investment in the industry into three main parts, such as the infrastructure, distribution, and application. Infrastructure sector. The infrastructure sector includes space companies that build rockets and satellites as such in popularity among investors. In part, thanks to the billionaire space race with Sir Richard Branson launching on Virgin Galactic and the vessels flying on Blue Origins. First crew mission. While Elon Musk SpaceX is sending up spacecraft at a blistering pace, developing next generation rockets. Distribution and application sectors. The other two categories in the Space Capital Report, distribution and application, broadly include companies that depend upon space technologies for business. Distribution represents terrestrial-based technologies that connect to space-based networks, while application includes space-dependent services like ride, alien, or navigation. Right owner of production of critical and disruptive technologies. Disruptive technology is an innovation that significantly alters the way that consumers, industries, or businesses operate. A disruptive technology sweeps away the systems or habits it replaces because it has attributes that are recognizably superior. One of the most consistent patterns in business is the failure of leading companies to stay at the top of their industries when technologies or markets actually change. Data and model reuse. The right business platform offers rocketry and satellite digital, digital mission engineering design with the ability to reuse data and models from past projects owned by the new space companies instead of starting from scratch. Stakeholders can collaborate with a real-time overview of designs in development to achieve innovative, sustainability-focused results faster, and this will fast-track quick development of disruptive technologies. The successful large companies need to identify disruptive technologies if they want to avoid being driven out of business by a new technology that at first is not economically significant. Product made with existing technology. Entrepreneurs are keen to identify these disruptive technologies because startups using a disruptive approach and plan a product made with existing technology which serves a small or non-existent market are most likely to succeed. New space financing. We have the credit facility, grants facility, tax incentives, financing of targeted projects, credit facility. Provision of credit facility is facilitating the financing of the disruptive technologies and business models of the new space companies. The continuous financing, finance chain with fast and risk taking decision culture is actually Epping the new space operators. The new space entrepreneurs like Elon Musk of SpaceX, Jeff Bezos of Blue Origin, and Sir Richard Branson of Virgin Galactic are not afraid to invest initially their own capital and to attract additional financing sources later. Grants facility. Government grants, funding, and incentives is immensely helping the space technology world. SpaceX, Boeing, Virgin Galactic, and Rocket Lab, and host of others are benefiting from the government assistance. 
For example, Record Lab has received around $1.3 million in government grants since 2007, and this has enabled them to perform their functions. Tax incentives. Tax break for poor communities helps the new space companies to grow. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson, they committed their billions of dollars into a private space race and they are now eligible for an extra boost from the federal government, a tax break, which is intended, intended to help the poor communities. Opportunity Zones Their qualification for the federal benefit, which hasn't been previously reported, enables them to avoid capital gains taxes or money they steer into Opportunity Zone operations. Those investments can then grow tax-free. Financing of targeted projects. Some of the new space companies are receiving billions of dollars in federal space contracts for targeted projects. For example, the NASA's Artemis program. NASA's $24.8 billion fiscal 20, 2022 years will also be used to, uh, uh, to develop technologies. This picture shows an artist's impression of an Orion crew capsule. International and national frameworks. We have the political framework, legal framework, modern space governance, and regulation of small and micro satellites and launchers. Political framework. Outer space grows more crowded by the day, and it was estimated that the number of satellites in orbit will triple by 2030. Globally, there's much interest in the great geopolitical and economic significance of space. In order to be able to bring new space companies with their products and services to the space market, there is need for the government, based on its political capacity, to accept higher risk. This will help the new space to grow tremendously. Legal Framework The legal framework in the new era. The current legal framework, drafted in an era when space was dominated by just two great powers does not yet reflect a new era in which the majority of space activities will be conducted by private sectors. Unaddressed legal inflexibilities and ambiguity could spell problems. Arbitral debris could deny owners of space access. Therefore, there is need for the formulation of new legal framework, which will capture the current trend of the new space. Modern Space Governance as more players enter the space domain, they are likely to encounter a governance system that will have little efficacy for dealing with space new challenges. To ensure that space remains safe and sustainable, policymakers must examine and remediate gaps within the current governance framework. For the decade ahead, leaders from all sectors, nations, and industries must prioritize the construction of new governance measures to avoid cutting the new space era short. Regulation of small and micro satellites and launchers. The limited number of orbital slots necessary for satellite operation is shrinking as more actors are fine for them. So as small and more satellites and launch vehicles are being launched every day, there is need for the establishment of regulation framework. You've been watching the new space. Thank you.